Good morning. Our entrance antiphon, do not leave me to the will of my foes, O Lord, for false witnesses rise up against me, and they breathe out violence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant us so to celebrate the mysteries of, our, of the Lord's passion that we may merit to receive your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O islands, listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth, from my mother's womb he gave me my name. He made me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow, in his quiver he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me, Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing uselessly spent my strength, Yet my reward is with the Lord, my recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm, I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. <clears throat> For you are my hope, O oh Lord, my trust, O oh God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb, you are my strength. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation. O oh God, you have taught me from my youth until the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified, Amen, amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another at a loss as to whom he meant. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot. 
after, G after Judas took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, What you are going to do, do quickly. Now none of those reclining at that table realized why he had said this to him. Some thought that since Judas kept the money bag, Jesus had told him, Buy what we need for the feast, or to give something to the poor. So Judas took the morsel and left at once. It was, it was night. When he had left, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man, now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews, where I go, you cannot come. So now I say to you, Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, Where I'm going, you cannot follow me now, though you will follow later. Peter said to him, Master, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you, the cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. This scene at the Last Supper certainly has a sense of finality to it. And in one sense, you can say that in assessing the ministry of Jesus, well, you might say, well, there's a certain sense of, well, an assessment that might say, boy, what did I accomplish? And if you will, we go back and Isaiah had to feel the very same way called by God to preach to the Israelites, here's his thought. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing, uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord, my recompense is with my God. It echoes in many respects, or actually foretells in many respects those words of Jesus, that indeed where I'm going, you cannot follow me now though you will follow me later. Jesus has put his entire trust and confidence in his Father. And in doing so, he and his ministry among us, well, it will be rewarded, it will be recognized. And that is something that we as a Christian people today have to face and in many respects deal with day in and day out. We find that there are people who do not respect our beliefs, and yet we continue to live, and sometimes probably much like Isaiah, wondering, well, if we've toiled in vain. But in fact, we're doing what God calls us to do and to be. And in so doing, we place our trust and confidence in the Lord. And it is the Lord alone who will reward us and our faithfulness to his way. As we seek to be faithful stewards of God's gifts, let us offer our prayers to our Father in heaven. For the leaders of the church, may God's law guide them in serving in truth and with justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our national and local leaders, may the love of Christ empower them 
in providing for those most in need in their communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For the sick and the suffering, may the comforting embrace of Jesus and the peace of his healing, healing hand be upon them in their need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For this faith community, may we be blessed with the grace we need to be faithful disciples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. <clears throat> For all those who have died, especially Clifford Phillips, may they be welcomed into the heavenly kingdom by the communion of saints. And for the intentions of this Mass, Randy Dershman, Wayne O'Toole, and the Walter Kelly family. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. <clears throat> for the prayers we hold silently in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. <clears throat> and we join in our vocation prayer. God our Father, we beg you for an increase in religious vocations. Help our people offer their lives in service to you. Let them hear your spirit's invitation and awaken in their hearts a desire to respond with courage, generosity, and joy. Raise up from our families faithful leaders who will serve as deacons, priests, and God's created religious. As we entrust to your care all who seek to do your will, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. With your goodness, we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Look favorably, O Lord, we pray on these offerings of your family. And to those you make partakers of these sacred gifts, grant a share in their fullness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Walker, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, <clears throat> we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you have fed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.